Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And follow me on all social media. The links will be down in the description. And for today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make crepes. And in this case, I'm going to be making some Nutella crepes. You can make it... You could make them... You could put anything you want on them, but I'm going to be putting some Nutella, some strawberries, and bananas. That's what I'm going to be putting on them, but this is what you'll be needing. So what you'll be needing is a pan, about this size, or depends what you have at home. A measuring cup, because I don't know my measures. You'll also be needing some vanilla extract, some butter, I'll be using this one, some sugar, some salt, a little mixing thing, a freaking hand mixer basically, or electric hand mixer. Or if you don't have one of these, you could also use a blender, it works as well. You'll also be needing two eggs. Oh shit, I almost cracked one. All purpose flour. You'll also be needing, I don't know, I forgot what it's called. Like I'm always forgetting what it's called, but one of these. And if you don't have one of these, then you could just use like any other one that's like, that fits a good amount. And then one of these. You'll also be needing a little bowl. And last. You'll also be needing milk. So enough talking. Let's go make that. So first wash your hands and I'm gonna be using this little recipe that I wrote because it's only my second time making them. So what you're gonna need first is two eggs. Hopefully you guys can see, yeah. You can see. I'm gonna just crack it right here on the edge. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit Okay, so after those two eggs, you're going to need one and a half cups of milk. So I'm gonna get my milk. That's one and a half cups of milk. So I'm gonna put this aside because we're not gonna eat this anymore. So after that, you're gonna get one teaspoon of butter. But if you don't have butter, you could use oil. I don't know which type of oil you're supposed to use, but the one I saw in the video, he used canola oil, so you could use that. But I'm gonna be using butter and then I'm gonna melt it right now and I'll be right back so I went ahead and melted my butter so it looks something like this you can melt it more but I just melt it like this so now you just put it in put it in after that you're gonna mix or blend whatever you wanna say so it should look something like this like liquidy mostly. So after that, <clears throat> you're going to get one cup of all purpose flour. Okay, so now that I poured the whole flour, the one cup of flour, I'm just gonna put it in. Make sure. So after that, <clears throat> you're gonna need one teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna be using the same spoon as I use to take out the things. One teaspoon. I don't even know. If, <clears throat> I don't have measuring like spoon, so I'm just gonna go with this. I said one teaspoon, so I'm pretty sure that's good. I'm just gonna put this much. Okay, so after that, you're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So 
So I'm just gonna use this one. I feel like I'm just gonna put a little bit more because there was still sugar, I mean salt in there, so it just dissolved it, I guess. So now, I'm gonna get one tablespoon. I'm just gonna use this one because I'm pretty sure this is like about one tablespoon. So I'm gonna get one tablespoon of sugar and just put it in there. And after that, that's all you're gonna use to mix, to make the batter and you're gonna mix. And make sure there's no, you're gonna mix until there's no lumps or anything. For me, there's some little lumps on the side so I'm gonna just get a spoon and like scoop them up and put them in the middle. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's good. So I'm just gonna take these off and put them in the sink. And I'm gonna put this away for right now. So basically this is like what your, what your batter should look like. And according to the video, this should make about six to eight crepes. But the last time I made it, I made about nine crepes, so that's pretty good amount. It's a pretty good amount. So I'm gonna clean this up and take this to the stove. So you're gonna get your pan and put it on the stove and set the heat to about medium to high heat and that'll be about good. So you're gonna get butter or you could use Pam or whatever you, yeah, butter. Batter or pump. Um, oh my god, I'm always messing up my words. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of butter. And just rub it across the whole pan. I'm pretty sure that's about... Okay, yeah, that's good. I'm pretty sure that's good. I'm just gonna set this aside. And now, I'm gonna get... So you're gonna get your little bowl you're gonna scoop the batter up don't fill it up too much fill it about how much you think your pan could handle I'm just gonna fill it up to about this much because the last time I did the, the crepe was too thick so I'm just gonna pour some of it out okay so now that you got some you're gonna get your pan and you're gonna you're gonna pour the batter on the pan and you're just gonna tilt it so it fills up the whole pan. So like this. So you're gonna put it in there and then tilt it so it fills up the whole pan. As, I, as you can see, I need it a little bit more. I'm just gonna pour some more on the sides. And fill this thing up. So, the first one usually comes out pretty bad. So don't get mad or frustrated if it comes out bad because the next ones you're gonna get used to it and they're gonna come out better. So I said to leave it about like a minute and make sure like the top gets like really nice and dry. So it seems to take about a minute so I'm just gonna leave it there for a minute and come back. So I went ahead and flipped it over and it's not as crispy but it's only my first one so I'm gonna just flip it real fast but for the other ones you can leave it longer and then once you flip it leave it for about like 30 seconds and that'll be about good because you see these little bubbles going so the bottom is faster. 
So just leave it about 30 seconds or depends. It's gonna look like a tortilla from the bottom. So just leave it until it looks like that. Some spots. Or it depends how you like it. Like if you like it crispier, leave it for longer. If you don't, then just leave it for about 30 seconds. So I'm pretty sure that's good. I'm just gonna go, okay. It should look something like that. You don't have to flip it over again, but I'm just gonna make sure it looks good. So I have this little plate with towel as you can see over here. And I'm just gonna transfer it over there and start making It's really not that bad for the first one, but it's honestly not even the first one because I made it one time before, so I'm actually getting better at making them. So hopefully you guys know. So hopefully you guys saw how to make them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make one more on camera. And the other ones I'm just gonna make off camera and I'm gonna go prepare them. So like I said again, just get your batter. I don't think you need more butter, so that's pretty good. That will be a lie. So just leave it there to a, for about a minute and then flip it. Or it depends how crispy you want it. Just keep on checking up on it to see how you want it. You could turn the heat up a little bit if you think it's too slow. So they just get done faster. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that that's good enough for me. That one, that one came out really good. Oh my God, I almost did it off. For my taste. I would like it crispier, but like honestly, this is good enough. So after you flip it, it's really gonna be, it's not gonna take that much, especially since I turned up the heat. So. Oh, that's, oh, that's good. It didn't even take 30 seconds. That one was a, <clears throat> a really good one. So, so now I'm actually gonna do the rest off camera and I'll get back to you guys when I'm preparing them. So I'm finally done making the making them and I made about seven. I made less than the last time I made them, but I made them thicker this time, so that's why I made less. But it's still good enough because they actually do fill you up and last time there was a lot left. There was like about three left over. So I'm just gonna get my Nutella and put it on the crepe. I forgot to say this in the video, but if you want to fold it the same way I did, what I did is fold it in half once and then fold it in half again. Okay, so that's about enough. And then I'm gonna get my strawberries and banana. My brother's already put some on theirs. And I'm just gonna make my crepe and I'm gonna go try it right now. Okay, so I'm done making them. I mean, I'm done preparing them. And this is how mine's came out. And like I said before, you could put anything else on it, but I'm just using Nutella, bananas, and strawberries. So now I'm gonna try it. I've already, like I said, I've already made this before. And I'm gonna eat it like this. You could eat it however way you want, but I'm just gonna eat it with the fork and a spoon. I mean, with the, with the fork and a little, fuck, I forget. I for, always forget what it's called. It's pretty good. Mmm, hello bomb. I first started liking them when I went to Mexico. And they're so good. They're not the same as... The ones from Mexico are better, but they're still pretty good. So, if you guys want to try this at home, please try it because I really recommend it. 
And if you make them and post them on your story, please tag me if you want. And comment down below if you make them and if they were good. So if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And follow me on all social media. So the links will be down in the description. And comment down video ideas. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.